second one i hope you guys enjoyed the first one that is up on my channel if you want to go take a look right now i am currently packing my lunch for work so i am gonna take my sri lankan fish curry that i made the other day i actually did a video on that and it's probably up before this video so go watch that as well just plugging myself it's fine anyway yeah i filmed that recipe if you guys want to go check that out it's really really yum it's the first time i tried it and it was really good for my fruit i'm going to take some grapes next i am taking a raspberry and white chocolate muffin that my mum made last night yummy i'm going to take a peppermint tea like i said in my last vlog helps my stomach just in case i get more hungry i'm going to take a carrot and that is my lunch packed i'm just going to leave that here and now I'm going to go get dressed. Let's go to work, guys. I've just made it to work. I did the 40 minute run. And basically, I just wanted to give you a rundown of what I've known about this week. Basically, nothing much on today, but tomorrow is settlement day. I don't have to do anything, but it's just exciting. Still school holidays for dancing. However, I do have a workshop on tomorrow. So tonight I have to choreograph for that um, and then, yeah, do it tomorrow. And I have a work meeting on Wednesday night with the dance family. Yeah, that's all. Oh, this weekend I've got a lot going on. So I actually might do a separate vlog for the Sunday. We're actually going to Tangaluma. We were supposed to go ages ago for my brother's birthday, but um, it actually got cancelled because of the wind. We're going whale watching. So we rescheduled it for the 4th. So that's going to be super, super fun. I'm going to take my GoPro and get some really sick footage. Sick footage. Wow. Love my life. Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a rundown of what I know is going on for the week, but you guys are going to see it all anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing it. So yeah, i got to go into work now, and um, I've got bar class tonight, so I'll see you guys later on. Work is now done for the day, and I've come over to Bar and Bike, because I have my hip class, which is high intensity interval Pilates, I think. I crushed that. Anyway, yeah, I have that class now, so I'm going to go head on in, and then I'll talk to you guys when I get home or after class. Guys, I've just made it home from Bar and Bike. It was an awesome, awesome class, but super hard. I did glutes, core, um, size. I, that's what I... <laughs> get out of the frame. Don't touch me like that. <laughs> that is what I like about Bar and Bike, is that, like, they work on your whole body every single lesson so it's not just like focusing on one part of your body which is really good 
I noticed for me that like when I'm doing exercising or something like that I need to be in a class environment with a teacher yelling at me otherwise I just won't do it I can't like self-motivate and go to the gym by myself I just can't do it I need to be in a class now that I'm home I have to keep going um, as I said at the start of the video I have to do a workshop tomorrow for dancing so now I need to choreograph for that and get that all done and dusted so that I'm prepared for tomorrow and yeah so I'm just gonna get straight into that now I gotta go find a song and then Cory. Happy Tuesday. I look so puffy today. Oh well. 7am as always and I've come out to play with Angel and just get some sun like I always do. Today is an exciting day. It is settlement day which means the land becomes mine at 1pm. Yes, so the land becomes mine at 1pm which is so exciting. So I'm going to have my emails like out and ready today to make sure that I don't miss anything but I they don't even like need me like I don't even have to do anything which is good it is actually raining today I'm just sprinkling nothing crazy but I'm just praying for nice weather so that our land can keep getting done when it starts but if it's today rain it's fine whatever I thought I would just quickly update you on the house because I know I left you guys I think it was two weeks ago that last weekly vlog Basically, the thing I didn't update you on is the builder side of things. So, I only got notification yesterday from the builders saying that the soil test came back and they no longer need piers. So, that means I don't have to spend another thousand dollars, which is amazing and really good news. They've now put all my um, plans into the council. So, that should take another two weeks or so to get them approved. They have booked the site like preparation and excavation date on the 22nd or 23rd of October and then they said the undergrounds which means all the piping and everything for the bathrooms and that should be done on the 28th and then they're hoping for slab down by the 30th of October which is my birthday so that will be a nice birthday present if the slab is down on the 30th but they said they have to confirm that with their trades and things like that. That is where I'm up to with the house at the moment. I thought I would just brief you guys because this is actually what I have to do in the week is sort out all of my house stuff. Yeah, now you're pretty much all caught up to date and I'm going to go in and um, make my bed today. I just feel like it. I had a really nice sleep but as you can tell, I'm still, still tired. That's why I thought I'd start the day like not on my phone because that always makes me feel even worse so i just thought i'd come straight out here and play with the pups <laughs> coconut milk instead of coconut cream well now I have to try and use up the coconut milk so I'm gonna put coconut milk into my iced mocha today <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, guys, I have made it to work. I was going to say this. I wasn't really going to say much when... Oh, please don't park in front of me. Thank God. I don't know if I said this yesterday, but they actually... This is a house update again. For my land, they actually opened up the fence, so I was actually able to go and stand on it. I don't know if I said that, but I found that out last weekend, and... I thought I would, I filmed it, but like on my phone, like when I found out I didn't have my camera with me. So I wanted to put in some of the footage that I took when we found out that the land was open and I could stand on it. And I was there with my mom and my sister at first. And then John and I went back the following day because he was at work the first day. And I wanted to just put in a video that I took and also a bunch of photos that we took that day as well. So here is all of the photos and the videos. It was so cool like I was just so excited because every time I've been there the barricades have been up and it's been so frustrating and then like randomly we just went and I was like mum was like I think the fences are down and I was like oh and we could actually drive down the street and park right at the front of my like house yeah I'm at work I'm just gonna chill on my phone for a bit cuz I'm quite early as always then go into work so I'll, I'll catch up with you guys later Pours down rain as soon as I'm about to get out of the car. Okay, guys, I am back from work and I've obviously gotten changed in my clothes for dancing tonight. Basically, I wanted to do a quick update because you guys know it was settlement day today. I got notice from my bank and from my solicitor saying that settlement is now done and yeah like it's done it means that that land is now completely mine which is insane and in more exciting news sort of for john um john booked tickets for the Parramatta eels and melbourne storm nrl game on saturday so we are going to that on saturday so i get to take you guys along with me um, we'll probably stay in Brisbane that night because, like I said, I've got Tangaluma the following day. It will be fun. I've never been to a football game before, so this is going to be really, really interesting and fun for me. I'm so excited. Now I'm prepping for class again, so I'm just going to go over the choreography I did. A few people have told me that they're coming, so I'm super, super excited to dance again, even though it's only been one week. home from class it was such an awesome awesome class I had like girls come from like my old dance school way back in the day they came and took class which is so nice and so good to see them anyway it was such a hard class when I came home I was fully red like I'm still a little bit red now I was sweating hard out but um I'm glad that that's all, all done and over with and I can rest now for the rest of the week and then normal dancing comes back next week. You guys, let's book the hotel for the football game and at the Milton in Brisbane. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go to bed now. Peace out and I'll see you tomorrow. God, I look tragic. What I was gonna say, punch and punch for the first day of the month. I love October and like it's spring and spring is like my favorite season.
hi guys happy thursday i don't know if for some reason it feels like friday because i had dancing on tuesday when i usually have it on wednesday so my whole week is just a little bit all over the place i didn't film much at all yesterday i think it was just a morning section that i filmed yesterday afternoon i went and had a meeting with my the dance uh school that i work for we had a team meeting just about next year concert all that stuff so obviously i couldn't film that and pretty much got home had dinner and went to bed today is going to be quite a busy day at work actually doing a whole rebrand changing our company name and everything so there's just a lot to get done today and hopefully it all goes smooth like and on top of that it is the first of october so i have all the start of month jobs to do we'll run all the sales reports and things like that it will be jam-packed which will be good because it will go really fast this afternoon i'm pretty much just going to come home and edit because i need to start editing because i don't really have the weekend at all because as you guys know i'm going to football staying in brisbane and then going to tangaluma so yeah don't have much of the weekend to edit at all this i feel like this this month like even like last month it just flew by and i like at the end of the month i'm going to be having a house that's starting to be built like what I am going to head off to work. Well, I'm actually going to pack my lunch and then head off to work. And I'll probably pick up the camera when I get back home from work. Because as I said, super busy. And I'm just going to go straight in when I get there. Guys, it is the night time. As you can tell, I've had a shower. I've had dinner. I had a chicken parmigiana. Chicken parmi here in Australia. It was beautiful. It's from Amici's. Right now, I am editing. Well, I'm about to start editing my cooking video that i did and try and get that up tomorrow which is friday the 2nd of october i had a few house things come up today guys i actually had my builder say that the council approved my plans so basically what happens now i send those council approvals to the bank and then the bank sends a commencement letter to my builder saying yes you can 100 percent start the build ah so cool i thought the council approval would take two weeks i, he, I i'm assuming he only put it on, in on monday because that's when he told me about it and it's already come back and it's thursday so that's amazing i'm editing the cooking vlog now or cooking video not really a vlog and then i'm gonna head to bed and maybe do this for about an hour and then call it call it a night hi guys happy friday yes it is that time of the week again friday already um i actually kind of feel like this week went really slow like the whole week for some reason my brain was like in a day later so like when it was thursday i was thinking it was friday just because my dancing like timetable mixed me up a little bit but that's fine it's just a little bit of a slow week and but luckily it is friday i'm currently as you guys are probably familiar with this area this scene i am at work at the moment i'm super early it's oh not too bad 8 for 8 45 but i've been here since like 8 40. oh i'm just feeling like super just having a bit of an off day today like and it's totally fine to have an off day i just feel super tired and like i said i already felt like i did friday yesterday so i'm just like feeling like i'm a bit over this work week and i'm excited for the weekend just trying to change my mindset a little bit to more positive and i'm like it's friday it's fine right you're gonna be good but i thought i would just say that on on the video because you know it's totally fine not to have a good day every single day like that's probably not normal like you can have off days and like it doesn't need to be a whole day maybe i'm just having an, a bit of an off morning just because i'm so tired and wanting to already be in the weekend but probably by the afternoon and all of that i will be sweet again john is getting prepared for the football game tomorrow he has decided to buy an 80 dollar Parramatta eels polo that he will probably wear today and then never again but he's assuring me that he is definitely going to be wearing it and i i'm gonna make him wear it <laughs> and he said oh yeah yeah i'm gonna wear it in public and i'm like yeah right oh, of course you are just on a normal day you're gonna wear a paramount i can't even say it eels 
Polo. I just know him and I know that he won't. So it's, I, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see if he actually does. But whatever, it makes him excited. So I'll, I just go with it. Just wanted to check in, happy Friday. And then um, I'll see you guys this afternoon. Guys, I am home from work. And I don't know if I said this, but Monday is actually a public holiday here in Queensland. So I get three days off. But the other two, um, obviously I'm quite busy. But at least I'll have Monday to like recoup and get back into life so that I can go back to work. Um, but tonight we're just going to have some steak and mushroom sauce with like maybe potato and veggies. And then... I'm going to just keep editing that cooking video for the rest of the night. John's at work until like 8, 8.30. So that's pretty much it. And yes, I can't wait. I just can't wait for the weekend. I'm so excited to just... I haven't stayed in a hotel in... Jeez. I think when John and I went to the Gold Coast last year in September. So maybe over a year ago that I stayed in a hotel. Anyway, I am going to have a shower and then start getting into some editing. I am just cooking off some onion. I'm making the mushroom sauce tonight. For my 21st. Oh. You just put in for what mum got me. Well then that's what I got you. I Does it even fit? Hello guys, we meet again in this exact same position on a Saturday, as in like the last weekly vlog we did this. Anyway, we are back going on the road to Brisbane. Happy Saturday. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Happy Saturday. We are filling up our petrol again and then heading off to Brisbane. We're stopping in at Morayfield first because John thinks that there's a um, polo or something, a Parramatta Eels thing for him to wear tonight. So we're going there and then... Jeez Louise. And then we are going to Chamside to do some Christmas shopping and shopping for me. I need to get some black jeans. Do you need anything today? Parachute. Just a parachute. Because the one I told you guys about yesterday, it actually ended up being already sold. And yeah, the whole story, but he didn't get it. Then we're going to Chamside. And then after that, we're pretty much, hopefully it's going to be around that two o'clock mark. Because that is when we can check into our hotel. And I'm going to do a whole room tour when we get to our hotel. And then, yeah, we're going to just chill out, have dinner, and then go to the game. So, I'm super, super excited. John, are you so excited to see your boys? Pretty keen. Should be fun. I haven't seen them play in a long time. And they're never in the finals because they're shit. Um, <laughs> I'll probably catch up with you guys maybe when John finds a shirt or when we're at Cham side getting some lunch or shopping around and maybe I'll have a sneaky uh, shop into Savo. <laughs> There's only reason why we're going. What? There's only reason why we're going to Cham side. Why to go to Savo? Yeah. No, we need a Christmas shop. Yeah, for who? You? Yeah. Alright, anyway guys, I will chat to you in a second. Coffee fix and a hash brown for Mariah. <laughs> Guys, woo! <laughs> we just went to Best and Less and found this ugly ratchet ass polo and like, it's so ugly. John's gonna wear this. I have no choice. Why don't you just wear normal clothes? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo woo, Parada, yes. All right. Anyway, we're going to Jamside now, and hopefully, maybe we'll find a better one. But we're going Christmas shopping. Let's go. day honestly I'm so exhausted 
we actually ended up being here for three and a half hours. We did some good stuff, didn't we? We killed it. We got birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. Not finished, obviously, but pretty much did a good job. I got myself an outfit from Savo. <laughs> So we are now done, it is now 2.30 and we're gonna go head off to the hotel now because obviously check-in's at two so we can head there now. So I will check in with you guys when we are there. Head south on Playfield. this out <laughs> nice little kitchen little dining the study nook this is our bed wow and it comes out onto the balcony and let's take a look at the most important part the bathroom Good. I'm happy everyone. This accommodation is Mariah approved. Guys, I have jumped onto my phone now because I didn't want to take the camera into the stadium. But look how cute John is <laughs> in his little eels outfit. I hate it. You look cute. The yellow looks disgusting. Anyway, we're walking to Suncorp now. So I'll see you guys when we're at our seats. Woo, go Parramatta! <laughs> <laughs> It is 10.30 p.m. and we've just gotten home from the footy game. John, what are your thoughts? Uh, it started off good. First half was fun. And then the second half, let's just say the referee. He's not very good at his job. <laughs> uh, oh well. It's a loss. We'll, I'll cop it on the gym. Yeah. That was so more good. Yeah, the storm were good, but um, I do think that the ref, even me, someone that doesn't even freaking watch football, did think that the ref called some br pretty bad yeah. things and then didn't call them for the storm. They called some calls for the storm. Yeah, but like. But they didn't do the same for us. No, yeah. yeah so it was just and the storm were always offside and yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's just. No. This whole thing. And you know what everyone's like when you come out of that all angry and starting fights. You go to that type of event, you have to be able to cop it with gin because you, you will get that win or lose. Yeah. And if you want to retaliate and fight, then you should not be there at all. Yeah. Anyway, that is my Saturday night done. We're just getting into our PJs and I'm going straight to bed because we've got Tangaluma in the morning. I'm actually going to end this weekly vlog here because I'm going to do Tangaluma as a whole separate vlog. So make sure you guys like this video if you did like it. Um, comment down below and subscribe to my channel because it really, really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Bye.